सो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अन अकेडमी स्टूडियो राइस इंडिया लार्जेस्ट चैनल फॉर यू पी एस सी सी एस सी प्रिपरेशन एंड माई नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डील सम ऑफ द जोग्रफी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑन द स्टूडियस प्लेटफॉर्म एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डील दिस जोग्रफी सब्जेक्ट इन वेरी इनोवेटिव वे एंड इन वन सच काइंड ऑफ इनोवेशन हैव केम अप विथ सम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक मास्टरिंग जोग्रफी थ्रू अंडरस्टैंडिंग द एम सी क्यूज सो वाइल सॉल्विंग द एम सी क्यूज इट सेल्फ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट एरियाज ऑफ जोग्रफी एंड वी वुड बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग वट एग्जैक्टली दैट पर्टिक्युलर डेफिनेशन इज और वट एग्जैक्टली दैट पर्टिक्युलर कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर सो बिफोर मूविंग इन टू द लेक्चर लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई नेम इज विजय कुमार and i have did my civil engineering from jain to hyderabad and also i have my masters in geography from madras university along with that i have some immense teaching immense experience in teaching geography subject since 5 years since the last 5 years i have been guiding the students who have geography as their optional to achieve their goal of becoming an ias officer and many of my students have cracked this examination with flying colors apart from that you might have a god got a doubt that why i have chose uh, chosen the teaching as my profession because i have passion towards teaching and i have a special passion towards teaching geography in upsc csc preparation and i help the aspirants to their core level so that they can fulfill their dreams of becoming an ias officer so apart from me what else can make you an ias officer that i'll show you now clear so it is like an academy plus platform which is one of the largest online platforms which will make your dream come true like an academy plus platform will provide you live classes daily more than 30 plus live classes live sessions are been conducted on this an academy platform along with that you will be having some mock test on that particular concepts which were dealt you would be having quiz and also you would be having doubt clearing sessions on those particular concepts so don't miss this chance of becoming an ias officer from this platform because this is the only platform which can generate regenerate the material stuff in each and every corner portion of upsc and hence you will experience a personalized learning on this platform i can assure you a single statement like you will be clearing civil services if you regularly and rigorously follow this an academy plus courses so how to get this an academy plus courses i'll let you know so before letting you know like i'll show you some of the famous faculties who have dealt huge concepts like an an academy platform clear just give me a while yeah clear thank you so just there was a mind you disturbance yeah done so on this an academy plus platform there are there are many faculties who have dealt different corners of upsc preparation they have rigorously taught rigorously continuously consistently taught each and every concept in each and every corner of upsc syllabus have been covered with various faculties as i have said there are more than 79 plus top educators on this plus platform and if you see clear the mock test which i have said you will be having huge number of mock test related with this ncrts and daily you will be having some or the other test and also the book list test you will be having and grand test and test series continuously would be evaluating yourself so that you can reach your destination of becoming an ias officer clear so if you have a goal of becoming an ias officer so believe in me you should take this plus course so that it will help you continuously throughout the preparation from the very basics to the very advanced concepts updating with the current affairs even and if you see how to get to the plus platform just i'll let you know clear just open your play store and just drop an academy learning app over there and just install the app after installing you will be redirected towards this page and to the bottom of the page you have a plus symbol please click on the plus symbol if you click on the plus symbol just you will be redirected to this page and just put the get subscription over there and when you put the get subscription you will be redirected towards here so there are monthly basis and there are quarterly there are half yearly and yearly and twice a longer duration course what i suggest student is to take people who are starting their preparation right now 
people who want to become an IAS officer right now just take 24 month course why because the exam pattern itself is one year like starting from prelims mains personality test and the final result so it itself take one year and before that one year consistent preparation is required so on this lines on this ties I will just clear give a guidance to the students to go for longer courses so what you do is just subscribe and it is of very nominal price however an academy will be giving you the discount for it so whenever you choose the option of 24 months you will be getting a continue button so just press on the continue button you will be redirected to this page like for it's per annum if you see the cost is 35,000 on a discounted price by an academy plus platform but I'm also giving discount from my side like if you use the promo code of Vijay and if you just drop the apply button there would be a direct discount of 10% for you so if you use this promo code you will be getting 10% excess discount if you don't use this you will directly pay 35,000 so just keep this in mind while the payment is done so while the payment would be done just take the promo code of Vijay and then take the 10% discount directly so if not like if an academy plus platform has built, has to be evaluated in four steps I'll be evaluating it as 30 hours of live sessions every day which are structured in English as well as in Hindi where 79 top educators are been dealing these courses and new courses are being published every month clear so every month you will be finding a new course on either of the subjects which are present in your UPSC syllabus so get the subscription done and from my side I am also giving you an offer before the subscription is done you can also choose the unlock seven day free trial challenge like just watch the plus videos for seven days how many videos you can watch in this seven days do watch them continuously if you feel if you feel comfortable if you feel comfortable with these lectures then just go and get the subscription done if you are not feeling comfort comfortable there is a no question of not feeling comfortable just come and see the seven day like unlock the seven day free trial challenge you will 100% like all the videos all the awesome lectures have been made lectures of economy has been like made by Nunal sir pass in the past year like also Rizwan sir who teaches geography and also Siddharth Arora who teaches polity Dipanshu and me who teaches geography again clear so all the awesome lectures are waiting for you they are ready for you so please use this unlock seven day free trial challenge and when you use this unlock seven day free trial challenge you will 100% like these videos then you can get the subscription done clear so better I suggest you to take the 24 month course here also an academy is giving direct discount and here also you can use the course like you can use the promo code this is the promo code where by using the code of Vijay where by using the code of Vijay directly when you click on the apply button just the discount drop rates like if it is 56,000 when you press on the apply button the discount changes like you will be getting direct 10% discount like the final price would be 50,400 so try to use this this is the perfect platform where you can become and fulfill your dreams of serving the nation clear so just we'll move into our course that is learning geography through mcqs done so let me examine like what are the factors affecting climate in india it is not only in india it is anywhere else in the world there are some factors which affects the climate clear so latitude as it is the first option let's examine these options latitude as it is given it will be acting as it will be acting as a factor which is affecting the climate why latitude affects the climate like if you see on the global phenomena you have equator you have tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle and north pole clear so moving latitude wise the climate changes as the insulation changes moving latitude wise as the insulation changes during latitude wise the climate also changes the climate also changes while we move like while we move into the latitude wise the climate changes hence when the climate changes if you see the latitude would be acting as the factor it is not only in India anywhere in this world the latitude would be acting as the factor and altitude however you know would be acting as factor like for example you are living on a plane 
and your friend is living on a plateau and your another friend is living on a mountain range like on a hill station in the hill station so the temperature which is received the temperature which you experience the climate which you experience would be different from the friend which who is living on the plateau will be completely different from the friend who is living in hill station it will experience very cool temperatures it will experience moderate temperatures it will experience hot temperatures clear so why this happens is moving altitude wise do remember this point i am repeating my statement moving altitude wise moving altitude wise what happens is the temperature drops down by 6.5 degree per every 1000 meters so in the previous lectures also we have discussed just go through them this is called as normal lapse rate so students who have attended the previous mcq lecture they might have been knowing about this like 6.5 degree for every 1000 meters there would be decrease in temperature so a person who is situated at 8000 meters height and a person who is having 1000 meters elevation so there is 7 kilometer difference so how much temperature reduction you can even you can not even imagine like there would be negativity of temperature in this zone clear so hence altitude would be acting as an important factor and pressure and wind system so wind system what happens is they would be affecting the climate for example there are some winds on the earth surface which move from east to west which move from east to west so when they move from east to west they drain they drain the eastern margins of the country and when they move further they become offshore trade winds hence they create dry conditions or they just transfer the humid locations or they just transfer the temperature conditions from one region to another region hence this is also one of the reasons these three are the accurate reasons apart from that how oceanic current affects the climate see for example what is oceanic current you have to know what is oceanic current oceanic current is nothing but movement of water movement of oceanic water in a particular direction for a longer distance again i am repeating my statement movement of oceanic water per longer distances bulk mass of oceanic water per longer distances in a particular direction that is called as oceanic current so any continent experiencing the movement of oceanic current let's examine like you have africa and you have benguela oceanic current which moves over there which is a cold oceanic current and this cold oceanic current will create a dry conditions in this coastal regions hence despite of being very close to maritime influence here we have a desert called as namib desert here we have a desert called as namib desert hence oceanic currents would be acting as a factor wherever you have warm oceanic currents you have humid conditions wherever you have cold ocean currents you have dry conditions so just do, do remember this thumb rule that warm oceanic current presents humid condition precipitation good forestry cold conditions dry conditions cold conditions and hence you will not find any vegetation clear so in this way this is also one of the factor hence all the factors all the factors are responsible and hence the answer is 1 2 3 4 done clear so apart from these given the relief features the distance from the sea would also be the factors but in the question it has not been given so these are the factors which would be influencing and controlling the climate of any region so moving further to the next question consider the following statements ab ye aata maza like ye question mein bahut maza hai dekh lo clear i'll give 30 seconds you can watch this question see the question this is describing one area you have to choose which area it is it is describing some area you have to choose like annual range of temperature is 18 degree annual range of temperature is 18 degree it is very high annual range of temperature kya hota hai like average mean temperature mean maximum temperature minus mean minimum temperature in a given year of a particular area is called as annual range इससे भी एक जुड़ा हुआ एक कॉन्सेप्ट है वो इसको बोलते हैं डायरनल रेंज डायरनल रेंज क्या होता है 
like maximum temperature of a given day minus minimum temperature of a given day is diurnal range of that particular region clear so in this way annual range is maximum temperature and minimum temperature of a given year is annual range which we calculate it on mean basis done so the regions which are being given it has been ex explained like the annual range of temperature is 18 degrees like it is very high obviously and average annual rainfall is less than 12 centimeters can you imagine less than 12 centimeters no rainfall at all so hence bangalore to hone sakta because bangalore experiences cool moderate high climate like good climatic conditions good precipitations would be present as it is elevated high above the sea level and bhuvaneshwar to bilkul hone sakta bhuvaneshwar experiences some good amount of rainfall ab hoga tezpur ya jaisalmer clear in dono mein check kar lete like low relative humidity like as we have less precipitations obviously it is true like low relative humidity would be there and hot and dry winds blow in summer season iska aata hai maza hot and dry seasons like dry winds ka blow hota hai india mein hot and dry winds in summer blow hota hai rajasthan region mein and rajasthan region mein hoga jaisalmer which is bordering region of somewhere around near to pakistan clear so this jaisalmer is been described in all these four options hence jaisalmer becomes the answer done jaisalmer becomes the answer you find such kind of questions in upsc on and often they will describe one region and they would be describing what actually it is done so answer is c next which river of peninsular plateau does not originate in western ghats let's see western ghats importance first western ghats they right away extend from gujarat up to kanyakumari region which are continuous mountain belts which are continuous mountain ranges clear and doda betta is the highest peak clear obviously it is anaimudi but exactly in the chain if you see it would be doda betta and western ghats are continuous just with small gaps between them like example palgat gap which is present between tamil nadu and kerala clear also we have borgat and tholgat over uh, maharashtran regions apart from this if you see from western ghats which river originates clear kaveri originates from brahmagiri hills like tal kaveri region of brahmagiri hills of western ghats region so this can't be the answer krishna river originates from mahabaleshwar clear so obviously it is in western ghats vaigai river originates from western ghats so this can't be the answer the answer only is mahanadi mahanadi river originates somewhere in dandakaranya region of chhattisgarh so in chhattisgarh it originates and it moves towards eastern side so mahanadi river is not originated in western ghats the rest of the rivers they are originated in western ghats clear so mahanadi river does not originate in western ghat it originates on the northern foothills of dandakaranya near sihawa region of raipur district of chhattisgarh please do remember this point clear most of the questions might be framed over here and moving further if you see which part of india is vastly affected by tropical cyclone now let's see what is cyclone bachcho jo bhi mera pichla video dekha hai clear kya hota hai cyclone please comment comment in the comment section what is cyclone cyclone is a low pressure system developed which has closed isobars around it which is surrounded by high pressure area this is called as cyclone cyclone is nothing but a low pressure area which is surrounded completely by high pressure and when it is completely surrounded by high pressure we would be having low pressure conditions at the center they are closed isobars they are closed isobars which attain the wriggling motion which attain the wriggling motion in this type of cyclones which occur in tropical locations between 8 to 22 degree latitude they are generally called as tropical cyclones and above that after 30 degrees they are considered as tropical cyclones and uh, temperate cyclones above 30 it is called as temperate and tropical cyclones if you see they extend between 8 and 20 degree latitude when they extend between 8 and 20 22 degree latitude clear they generally attain anti clockwise direction in northern hemisphere and clockwise direction in southern hemisphere do remember this point 
स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दिस ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन टेक्स एंटी साइक्लोन लाइक एंटी क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन इन नॉर्थ एंड क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन इन साउथ and if you see this is tropical cyclone and overview so hence which portion of india is most affected it is like the tropical cyclones originate in bay of bengal as well as they originate in arabian sea tropical cyclones they originate in bay of bengal they originate in arabian sea but the tropical cyclones which originate in arabian sea they move towards the central asia and reaching there they completely dissipate but the tropical cyclones which originate in bay of bengal they would be hitting the eastern margins the states of tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha and west bengal so the tropical cyclones whichever may originate in bay of bengal obviously they hit the eastern margins of the country hence the east coastal plain would be the most affected one west coastal plain is not affected cyclone doesn't reach near to the deccan plateau and ganga plains are far away from that of tropical cyclones so answer is east coastal plain clear the maximum number of tropical cyclones originate in bay of bengal and in the east coastal plain of india is the worst affected by these cyclones so the next one let's see some some of interesting questions are there here clear they are somewhat typically analytically analyzed somewhat here and there a small mistake will make the entire answer wrong for you clear these kind of questions generally appear in upsc let's see what are the which of the following statements are correct sometimes yahan pe kya hota hai na like upsc generally it gives not over here hum confuse ho jate hain isme so pehle check kar lena ki ye not hai ki correct hai ye puch raha ki क्या गलत है या पूछ रहे कि कौन सा राइट right आंसर है तो उसके हिसाब से हम चेक कर लेना ठीक है द वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ मरुस्थली इज कवर्ड बाय शिफ्टिंग सैंड कॉल्ड एस ध्रेन ओके सो द वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ मरुस्थली इन राजस्थान द राजस्थान प्लेन विच इज प्रेजेंट हियर ऑन दिस जोन वी वुड बी हैविंग मरुस्थली रीजन विच इज नथिंग बट ए टेम्परेट ग्रैस काइंड ऑफ थिंग done so as we have temperate grassland to the west if you see on to the marusthali we would be having the desertified region the desert is completely mixed with sand hence we would be seeing shifting sand dunes which are called as drains this is absolutely right answer absolutely right the western part of marusthali is completely having sand dunes which on and off and shifts under the wind influence okay the bhangar lands in punjab are called as wetlands this is absolutely false bhangar what is bhangar bhangar is nothing but old alluvium bhangar is old alluvium of gangetic plains and new alluvium is called as khadar old alluvium is called as bhangar and new alluvium is called as khadar so hence this is absolutely wrong in punjab the regions where we have wetlands they are not at all called as bhangars clear next amarkantak is the highest peak of satpura range it is also absolutely wrong the highest peak of satpura ranges is something else clear so if you see the satpura ranges near satpura ranges you have dubgarh which is the highest peak which is of 1350 kilometers like 1350 meters range it is not the amarkantak amarkantak is somewhere around 1000 meter elevation actually it becomes a plateau over there so hence that is not a wrong right answer hence 1 2 and 3 are wrong so wherever you have 2 and 3 just eliminate them so and the answer is 1 and 4 just by knowing one or two options you can eliminate it vindhya ranges acts as watershed between the ganga system and river systems of south india hence absolutely it's true where do we have vindhyas they right away extend from gujarat they bypasses madhya pradesh they reaches bihar and be in bihar this vindhyas are called as sasaram ranges clear near sasaram in bihar they are called up with local ranges called as kaimur hills over there hence this location which is present the bihar location this vindhyas would be acting as the basic between the basic point between the northern india watershed and southern indian watershed clear so this is also one of the typical questions which have been asked hence the answer becomes 1 and 4 1 and 4 is absolutely right so bangar and amarkantak absolutely wrong they are factual information you have to 100% no related with this 
we'll move towards the next question which of the following are correct the tertiary is the most significant period the tertiary period of india is the most significant period of geological history because the himalayas were formed in this period and hence when you read about the himalayas check out the location of himalayas if you see the himalayas are located towards the northern location which are formed during this tertiary phase itself so whenever you read himalayas himalayas are formed in the tertiary phase clear tertiary period you will be coming across with statement and hence this statement is true and also pleistocene is marked by cold climate and wind spread glaciation and hence pleistocene period itself has an inbuilt name of ice age clear so it is a glaciation age and hence it is also absolutely true both the statements are perfectly right so just go through this once again both the statements are correct and whenever you see such kind of words please mark them so that these kind of questions would be appearing in your upsc examination done next which of the following statements are are incorrect here here which of the following statements are incorrect now upsc has tested this question clear so these kind of questions on and often occur in upsc they will be there in upsc please try to check the question once and twice and thrice then only give the answer clear so if you see if you see like these what are these names are these new very new for you are these very new for you but they are very old when you go through ncrts you will come across with this clear these are local winds these are local winds local winds kya hota hai like those winds which blow in local area and which will create significant impact of the local climatic condition which will impact significant climate of the local climatic condition that is called as local wind and the names of this local winds are taken from the local languages the nomenclature which is present that is given from local languages and if you see foin is one of the local wind which blows in europe in the central europe near to switzerland this foin wind would be blowing clear so chinook is called as snow eater in north america in north america if you see clear so these are the rocky mountain ranges in the top of the rocky mountain ranges these are completely covered with snow because of latitude and altitude so in this regions when the chinook warm wind blows clear so the chinook and blizzard winds the chinook and blizzard winds local winds when they blow they will try to melt the snow from here and hence they would be coming out as streams from this mountain ranges and hence chinook is called as snow eater hence it's absolutely true hermeton is doctor in guiana region yes it is true in the african locations in the african location when this hermeton wind blows clear so when this hermeton cyclically blows it brings the moisture to this guiana region hence it is acting as a doctor for the treatment over there like the treatment is dryness clear the sorry the problem is dryness and the treatment is rainfall over there and hence this hermeton is getting rainfall over there hence absolutely all the three given statements are right and sirocco is called as khamsim in spain this is absolutely wrong sirocco is called as sirocco in the spain actually it doesn't reach as spain sirocco reaches italy where it creates blood rain in sicily region clear when sirocco moves from africa clear on the top of africa it catches the red sand from the saharan uh, desert and it bypasses mediterranean sea and it reaches sicily and creates blood rain hence it doesn't even reach the spain margin hence sirocco the khamsim is a local wind local dry wind which blows in egypt so it is the not the name of sirocco hence this is absolutely wrong and hence this would be the answer for the given question clear and if you see the khamsim is warm wind blowing in egypt the khamsim is warm warm wind blowing in egypt clear next tank irrigation ye bhi bahut analytical types of question hai try to understand this question i'll give you some 10 seconds time so to analyze this question just go through this
so these kind of questions would be coming like what is tank irrigation so digging the tanks so that the water when they comes they would be accumulated and this tank water can be used for agriculture so this is tank irrigation which is generally practiced in peninsular india because of its topographical constraints clear so because like to dig canal irrigation clear it would be become like it becomes highly difficult in that kind of like uh, the, the topography is where the plateau is not perfectly fixed right so what happens is as the plateau relief and hard rocks make it difficult to dig canals and wells tank irrigation is followed in peninsular india this is absolutely true regarding with the statement and if you see the rivers are rain fed hence that is the reason uh, if the rivers are not rain fed if the rivers are continuous in nature if the rivers are non perennial like if the rivers are perennial in nature they might have utilized the spring like canal irrigation itself done so but as the rivers are rain fed they have to follow the tank irrigation so hence these two statements are correct and if you see of compact nature of population and agriculture fields and we don't have any compact nature of population in the peninsular india so hence this doesn't become the current explanation for this so hence option 1 and 2 are absolutely right and option a is the answer for this clear so here uh, like they have given the d as option but here it's a like whenever you see the compact nature the compact nature of population and agricultural fields this is not this might be true but this is not the correct explanation of the tank irrigation clear so moving further with reference to soil conservation consider the following matches so soil conservation we have many techniques related with soil conservation because soil erosion is one such kind of effect which is destroying the agricultural productivity then so whenever agriculture comes into picture soil is one of the important inputs soil is one of the important inputs which we have hence as we have the soil as one of the important inputs the soil conservation techniques are highly important and on the hill slopes generally when people deforestate clear when the people deforestate we will be having soil erosion process easily so hence for afforestation counter plowing crop rotation patterns all are resp like all will protect the soil and these all are soil conservation techniques and i'll show you the counter plowing technique and hence the answer is all of the above let's see what is counter plowing technique clear so here the fields are cut parallelly the fields are cut in this way parallelly so that soil when it erodes it can erode only in this particular margin and it can't cross this particular area and this is called as counter plowing clear so answer is all the methods all the methods given here are the best examples moving further the southwest monsoon first enters in the states of absolutely this can be eliminated why because clear southwest monsoon obviously comes in this direction so it is the western states which receives either it should be kerala or either it should be karnataka then the southwest monsoon southwest monsoon what is southwest monsoon i'll give you a brief understanding these are southeast trade winds these are southeast trade winds they will reach the equator because equator has low pressure but in the month of june the low pressure has been shifted towards tropic of cancer hence in order to find the low pressure this winds will cross the equator and as they cross the equator they deflect right towards because of the coriolis force impact what is coriolis force the force created because of rotation of earth and this rightward deflection makes the winds to catch the moisture from moisture from indian ocean hence they change as southwest trades and reaching india they convert as southwest monsoon and this winds try to enter into the state of kerala first in the first week of june these winds tend to enter the kerala region in the first week of june and hence it is kerala state which receives the rainfall in the very first week of june 
and hence these options are directly eliminated and in both the options it is Kerala which is absolutely right which is absolutely right here Kerala is the first state which experiences the first southwest monsoon clear the southwest monsoon originates in Arabian Sea and reaches Kerala the normal date of arrival see here it has been given normal date of arrival but it may vary it may vary it may reach up to June 15th on the basis of the low pressure conditions developed this is not the perfect figure but it extends up to June 15th okay consider the following statements regarding equatorial forest clear so generally equatorial forest what for what type of forest we have near the equator is near zero degree we would be having more than 300 days plus precipitation there we experience 4 pm rainfall and the rainfall which happens near the equatorial region at 4 pm is convectional type rainfall what is convectional type rainfall any region when it is heated through insulation warm winds raises up and the warm wind raising up will also give a lift to the water vapor which has been evaporated because of maximum insulation and as the water vapor is lifted upwards we would be having condensation so mornings are bright and sunny afternoons are humid and in the evenings exactly by 4 pm you will be experiencing rainfalls in the equatorial region hence in the equatorial region you will be experiencing the precipitational patterns that is called as 4 pm rainfall and hence as we have 300 days of maximum rainfall in the equator we experience we experience clear huge dense forest trees over there and hence tropical evergreen forestry the forest of amazon basin the forest of congo basin are experienced let's move to the question clear so they consist like they consist mostly of hardwood trees it is true and in very dense areas undergrowth is absent okay this is true and this is there is segregation of same species of trees this is false clear if you see the option one and two is absolutely right this the segregation of same species of trees there wouldn't be any segregation like segregation is not possible in equatorial region what happens i will explain let's assume in one square kilometer area or 10 square kilometer area in 10 square kilometer area you will be finding hundreds of species hundreds of species that is the reason why despite of equatorial region having this hardwood trees we can't utilize it on commercial lines Yes, there, is, there are many other reasons like transportation is difficult, infrastructure is difficult, the dense forestry doesn't give us that much output. The many other factors are there, but the most important factor is they won't allow us to do in commercial way. Why? Because we find hundreds of species. So to cut the common species, you have to search all through the forest and the entire year goes off and hence you won't experience a huge commerciality over there. That is the reason why we won't have the commerciality of this hence option one and two are right three and four are absolutely wrong so why four is wrong what is lumbering it is a wood cutting process generally in cold climatic regions in the upper latitudes like in british type of climate like in china type laurentian type of climates what we generally experience is lumbering is a important economic activity wood cutting process manufacturing processing and selling that wood that process is called as lumbering that is high in higher latitudes not near equatorial region so do remember the point called as lumbering hence these two statements are directly wrong hence the option c is absolutely right statement clear so next we will see which of the following is not true which of the following is not true about the intensive intensive subsistent agriculture dominated by wet paddy cultivation here like holdings are very small due to high density of population if you see holdings are very large see here the question which has been given see the solution 
which of the following is not true not true the rest are true but holdings are very small in the intensive cultivation system soil fertility is maintained by using farm manure it is highly true because the paddy cultivation happens generally in south india done in these regions the soil fertility is lost but still it is used by the farm manure it is absolutely true yield per unit area is very high this is also true the productivity would be high and land is intensively used this is present in question itself clear so in this way these three statements are absolutely right land holdings are very large this is not true they are not like that of temperate locations land holdings are very small that is the major reason why we have intensive subsistent agriculture system dominated in the wet paddy cultivation region and hence absolutely this is not the perfect statement as it is not true not true this becomes the answer if it has been given true of eliminating not then these three would be the perfect answer for the given question done which of the following rivers have formed majuli the largest island of the world this is a simple question i know but the thing is you have to know the majuli the largest island of the world so the brahmaputra river right away starts near to that of rakas lake and it enters all along the border lines and it enters arunachal pradesh and near to assam region it creates a riverine island called as majuli which is very famous for rice varieties like you find hundreds of varieties of rice here hundreds of varieties of rice you would be finding here where you experience like i have visited there i'll sh share an interesting thing with you like just by soaking the rice we can eat we can directly consume that done so there is no need of cooking over there that particular island is very important clear so any matter related with majuli island in the newspaper please don't leave it and that is absolutely created by brahmaputra river brahmaputra deposits the world's largest river in island that is majuli island which is present near to the border regions of the assam clear if you see i had brought a picture but which is not that clear so this is the majuli island which has been created over there by the river brahmaputra on its course clear so there are some factual informations like majuli island is 90 kilometers long measures 20 kilometers wide it is considered as world's largest river and island clear so just do remember this majuli island a statement may come because brahmaputra always would be in news because always it floods so whenever it floods the question frames so hence brahmaputra on basis of brahmaputra river we might have a question we might have a question clear so please try to be very alert with that of brahmaputra river whenever it comes see the tributaries see the drainage area see the watershed see where it enters where it ends where it origins see what are the things which it uh, which it creates see what are the national parks which it uh, like passes Uh, like is it passing khaziranga national park or not so just it is crossing manas national park or not so try to see and visualize all the things associated with brahmaputra on all the aspects you will be 100% getting what ever question like i have observed like continuously for 3 years they have been asked this question of brahmaputra tributaries right so there are huge chances that you may get a question from this so just moving into the next question the saddle peak the highest peak of andaman nicobar islands is located here i don't have a map of andaman just andaman nicobar islands andaman north andaman middle andaman little andaman and nicobar is divided into great nicobar and small nicobar clear so hand the saddle peak the highest peak is located in the north andaman location so once what you do is i could not adjust the indian map of andaman nicobar islands just open your atlas and see the geographical entities of andaman like see its latitudes longitudes see the 10 degree channel this was all already asked in upsc like 10 degree channel divides the andaman and nicobar islands try to see this map and also try to see the lakshadweep because they are the most isolated territories which i feel personally hence every time when any question should frame that should be on this island groups and also see how the islands are formed are they are the andaman nicobar islands are they are the extensions of himalayas 
and obviously the Lakshadweep islands are of coral origin there is no doubt in it but there are many theories on Andaman island like Andaman Nicobar islands that how they are formed so just try to find it out like what exact is the reason why we have formation of Andaman and Nicobar islands clear and if you see the factual information with saddle peak here it has somewhere around 737 meters it's not too high but it is high for Andaman Nicobar Islands done which of the following states doesn't touch the Indo Nepal border clear it's a bit confusing clear up my man like map dimak me arayan like India map so true like India map me ya West Bengal ho most of the people go West Bengal lag rana West Bengal absolutely wrong अब देखो ये तीन स्टेट में कौन सा होगा अब ये तो पता है कि उत्तर प्रदेश तो बिल्कुल उसके बगल में ही है क्लियर क्रॉसिंग उत्तर प्रदेश वी हैव टू मूव देन व्हाट आर द टू स्टेट्स क्लियर व्हाट आर द टू स्टेट्स जस्ट थिंक द मैप इनटू योर माइंड टेक इंडियन मैप इनटू योर माइंड नाउ यू आर गेटिंग कंफ्यूज राइट दिस कंफ्यूजन हैपेंस इन यूपीएससी प्रीलिम्स आल्सो सो टू अवॉइड दिस कंफ्यूजन ऑन एंड ऑफ एंड सी द इंडियन स्टेट्स एंड इट्स बॉर्डर्स जब भी आपको टाइम मिले ना लाइक एक स्टेट ले लो मध्य प्रदेश उसका बॉर्डरिंग स्टेट्स क्या है वो देख लीजिए लाइक like, एक दिन मध्य प्रदेश देख लो एक दिन कर्नाटका देख लो एक दिन महाराष्ट्र देख लो एक दिन झारखंड देख लो एक दिन बिहार देख लो एक दिन उत्तराखंड देख लो एक दिन कश्मीर देख लो एक दिन पंजाब देख लो सो so, ऐसा क्या करो डेली एक एक स्टेट को निकाल के लाइक like, उसका बॉर्डरिंग स्टेट्स क्या है सिर्फ 20 दिन में आपको पूरा याद हो जाएगा लाइक दीज आर द स्टेट्स विच आर बॉर्डरिंग एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द स्टेट्स हैविंग कनेक्शन विद द इंटरनेशनल बॉर्डर बिकॉज दट इज द एरिया वेर वी हैव द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ माइग्रेशन clear the rohingyas problem which we have faced uh, the last two years back so those kind of states are highly like they are very sensitive in nature so after becoming an administrator you have to find out the solutions for it so ab se yaad rakh lo ki ab administrator banne ke baad kya karna hai aisa cheezon ke liye clear so answer is himachal pradesh absolute answer it is himachal pradesh and Uttarakhand is not the option. Uttarakhand has border. Five states that share border with Nepal, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, and Sikkim. These are the states. And in between Himachal Pradesh and Indo Nepal, there comes Uttarakhand, which comes in between it. Like clear. So hence, this is about this lecture. And if you see, so this is the an academy plus platform. Again, I am giving you a reminder. Please come and please give. and unlock the 7 day free trial unlock the 7 day free trial so as you unlock the 7 day free trial clear what you would be observing is you will be observing like you will find some awesome lectures clear brunal sir ka dekh lo dipanshu sir ka dekh lijiye nahi to rizwan sir ka dekh lijiye pura awesome lectures milega 7 din mein jitna ho sake utna lecture dekh lijiye uske baad kya karo directly aake subscription le lijiye क्लियर ऑब्वियसली आपको ये लेक्चर्स पसंद में आएगा और पसंद में आते ही आपको शुरू नेक्स्ट डे नेक्स्ट डे जस्ट कम एंड सब्सक्राइब कम एंड सब्सक्राइब डोंट वेट डोंट डिले योर प्रिपरेशन टाइम वुड बी रनिंग आउट डोंट फील डोंट गेट रिग्रेटेड आफ्टर लाइक आफ्टर टू इयर्स ऑफ टाइम व्हेन यू कांट बिकम एन आईएएस ऑफिसर देन जस्ट डोंट गेट अ रिग्रेट थिंग लाइक यार तब तो प्लस प्लेटफार्म था और मैंने लिया नहीं क्लियर यू विल एब्सोल्युटली लव दिस दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई आई एम गिविंग यू एन ओपन ऑफर सात दिन का देख लीजिए उसके बाद अगर सब्सक्रिप्शन करना है तो कर लीजिए ऑब्वियसली यू विल डू इट 100% यू विल लाइक ऑसम लेक्चर्स बना हुआ पूरा जितने भी सब्जेक्ट्स है यूपीएससी में हर सब्जेक्ट में हर चीज में एवरीथिंग इज कवर्ड क्लियर वंस कम एंड सी ऑन टू द प्लस प्लेटफार्म कम आल्सो गिव लाइक यू यू कैन यू कैन आल्सो फाइंड आउट सम मॉक टेस्ट मॉक टेस्ट सॉल्व देम वो सॉल्व करने के बाद आपको ये पता लग जाए कि यस दिस इज द राइट पाथ फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सिविल सर्विसेज डन सो प्लीज ट्राई टू गेट ऑन टू दिस एंड जस्ट इफ यू हैव लाइक दिस वीडियो जस्ट हिट द बेल आइकॉन एंड इफ यू हैव लाइक दिस लेक्चर क्लियर फॉर बेल आइकॉन जस्ट इफ यू हिट द बेल आइकॉन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन डेली वेन एवर द लेक्चर वुड बी कमिंग एंड ऑल्सो हिट द लाइक सिंबल इफ यू हैव लाइक दिस लेक्चर एंड ऑल्सो डू सब्सक्राइब टू अन अकेडमी स्टूडियो राइज चैनल which is the largest channel for upsc preparation in india clear thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day jai hind